welcome back to my channel this is the continuous tutorial on deep learning based recommendation system so let's just look at what is deep learning so deep learning can be considered uh, as a subfield of machine learning uh, the typical defining essence of deep learning essentially is it tries to learn deeper representations uh, from the raw feature sets um, uh, and that that feature set can cons can be considered in terms of uh, raw input images or raw text. So deep learning techniques can find uh, uh, more non-trivial features out of raw data, which is the most important property of deep learning considered the earlier techniques in machine learning. Uh, the typical techniques in deep learning consist of multi-layer perceptrons. So multi-layer perceptron nothing but feed-forward neural network architecture which can have multiple hidden layer and uh, uh, the first layer of the in multi-layer perceptron is the input layer and the last layer is the output layer so it's just a, uh, a stacked version of various non-linear transformations with between the input layer and the output layer so you can have relu units 10 units, units sigmoid units and it can be it can really learn uh, a hierarchical feature representation pretty well the other techniques which are pretty widely used in deep learning era are autoencoders. So these are mainly used for unsupervised learning where you are trying to either reduce dimensionality of your data or you are trying to find some salient uh, uh, really representative features from the data. So for example if you have uh, input images and you want to understand uh, cluster them together or understand them in uh, lower dimensions these are the models uh, to look for. Similarly, uh, uh, there is a class of models which can really model sequential data well. So for example, textual data or temporal data can be really modeled really well uh, with the recurrent neural network model. So these models essentially try to maintain uh, a state uh, from one, uh, uh, one time step to another time step and it can be used for multiple applications. So there are multiple variants of recurrent neural network as well. So for example, uh, long short term memory LSTM and GRU are the most popular variants of recurrent neural networks. Apart from that, adversarial networks, which are, which are consisting of two uh, fundamental networks where one is a generative network and the other is a discriminated network, which essentially try to compete with each other and learn using a minimax game framework. Uh, these kinds of networks are popularly used in uh, generative adversarial networks. So for example, a lot of applications have came out where uh, folks have tried generating images of uh, human faces. So these are the networks which are essentially behind uh, uh, those applications. The fifth kind of models which are popularly used are attention models. Uh, these are ubiquitous, they are used in multiple areas, so for example, they are used in computer vision, natural language processing. Um, a lot of research has also been happening of using uh, uh, attention-based models for recommendation as well. Uh, the last thing uh, which I also want to touch upon is deep reinforcement learning. So deep reinforcement learning essentially tries to uh, understand the structure of the data or try to understand the problem using exploitation, exploitation uh, paradigms and trial and error paradigms. Uh, there are various uh, methods of doing re deep reinforcement learning and a lot of research is going on and trying to do re re reinforcement learning for re uh, recommendation systems as well. Um, also in the next week we will look at uh, why, why we need deep learning for recommendation system and go deeper into what are the problems and uh, what are the challenges we face along with uh, what properties and what uh, new um, uh, uh, advantages we get by using deep learning in recommendations. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.